everyone this is sin and welcome back to my channel stampin munchkins i hope you like what you see and decide to come back if you're a new subscriber welcome i appreciate you being here if you're not a subscriber please subscribe hit like and comment and hit the bell notification i'll be making a slimline card today and I'm cutting my Nina 80 pounds classic crest solar white three and a half by eight and a half and that'll be my panel. I'm using my distress oxides in a rainbow order and everything will be listed below. It will also be listed on the screen so you can take a screenshot if you need to see it. I'm using my Lawn Fawn cloud stencil to make my rainbow clouds and my Tim Holtz ink blending tools and my waffle flower water media mat. I like using the mat because it is sort of non-stick or non-slippery for my card panel so I don't have to hold it down as much. I'm just going down the line and doing my rainbow colors and I'm also going to be repeating some of the colors because I um, had space since it's a long slimline panel. And here I am blending it out with the, without using the stencil. Again, here's a little reminder. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just keep working the card coloring. I'm using my pop-up die using the grassy hillside lawn fawn and that will be used to cut out my grass. And I will also be using two distress green oxide greens mowed lawn and Sorry, I can't remember the second one. Crushed olive, I believe. And I'm just doing it um, roughly because I want it to be patchy as grass is not perfect. Here's the crushed olive to yellow it up a little bit. And I'll be using a little bit of water to get the speckles. And I didn't like how light it was, so I added a darker green to it again everything will be listed below and here's the darker spots i added a little water sorry it's off to the side and you can't see it but this is what i was looking for darker green spots on my grassy hillside now my favorite thing at for the moment the lawn fawn liquid stardust i wanted some fairy lights on the rainbow clouds so using a small water brush watercolor brush i added it and it's hard to see but you can see it when i um, tilt it these are the stamp sets i used i didn't use the last one i'm using memento my favorite black ink pad for copic coloring is memento tuxedo black and i like using that I've never used these stamps before, so right before I inked it, I conditioned it using my microfiber cloth. I'm stamping onto Nina, 80 pound classic crest, solar white again. I also added one more stamp set for the clouds and the butterflies. I'm using warm grays for the dandelion and I'm using quite a lot of Copic colors, which you don't have to, but I have them, so I'm going to use them as I love coloring. Again, all the colors will be listed on the screen and also on the bottom below each image that I, they will be listed by image. I usually go from light to medium to dark, back to medium to light. I'm using four greens for the stems of the dandelion flowers and weeds. I'm using light blues for the cloud. 
using the light blue for the clouds and the color lip. Next, I'm doing the blooms in yellows, light to medium to dark, back and forth. I like to get do the light first as it saturates the paper and it makes it easier to blend. I apologize for the pauses as I'm coloring. <laughs> I hope you still enjoy it. I'm using these oranges, yellow oranges for the fox. And you can see it better here as it's a little bigger image that I use the light color than the medium for the shadow areas and the dark for the shadow areas again. Going back with the medium after this, blend it out a little farther. And then I'll be going in with the lightest color and blending it all out for a seamless blend. You'll see that I colored outside the fox's tail, but I'll clean that up later. For his face, belly, ears, and tail, I'm using E000 and E93. For the mouse, I'm using a, e, a beigey color. And I, I've not really used this color combination before, but I really liked how it turned out. It's kind of a taupey color. And I'm coloring each animal um, image differently so that they look like friends rather than family. Because this is a bunch of friends hanging out and having fun, having a dandy day. And this, it's pretty redundant. It's always, you know, light to medium to dark and going back to light. Just keep blending until you get the look that you like. The next image that I'll be um, coloring is the bear and it's the 30s. My favorite is the E30s and the E50s. I'm going from E31, 33, and I was going to use 35, but you'll see in a little bit that it's dry and I didn't want to refill it because I was on a roll coloring. So I brought in 37 and it worked out fine. It gave even, um, more definition so i really i like it even better than using the 35. tell me how you copic color in the comments and what is your favorite color family in the e's i t tend to use the e's more than any other um, color family i'm using warm grays for the next mouse if you hold on and watch the whole video you will see a discount code for my shop somewhere in the video and it will be for 15% off your entire order. So I hope you stick around and look for the code and I appreciate you shopping at my shop. So the last mouse is the E50 family and this is again another one that I enjoy. My favorite is the E30s and the E50s and it is so easy to blend out. If you want to skip the coloring, you can do so. Um, some people enjoy watching people color. I enjoy watching people color, but it's sped out six times. So it does take a while, but you know, it does go fast when it's sped up six times. Now, instead of the bird, I wanted butterflies. So the butterfly um, kisses, I stamped some butterflies and I will be coloring them in pinks, oranges, and a light violet. Again, light to medium to dark. I'm putting the shadow in the butterfly in the middle where the body is. And I like how these um, color combos are so nice and vibrant. The violet is not as bright, but I like how it um, coordinates with the pink and the orange. I do have the dyes, but it would have taken a while. So I used my brother's scan and cut SDX125 to cut them out. Now I'm auditioning where I want it on my card. So I'm just placing them where I think I would like them to be.
I'll be using my zig two-way glue because I find it easier to for little items to um, use this as it's not a sticky wet glue so everything all the small pieces that need to be attached to each other I'll be using the zig glue and putting them on the side to dry once I do start putting them on the card, I'll be using a different wet glue, which you'll see in a little bit. But first, I'm going to use the Zig Glue to add my Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter. I really like Chunky Glitter versus Fine Glitter, as I think it's so much more um, blingy, although it is a bit messy. So I'm just putting the glue on using my Tula Pink um, tweezers and just sticking it into the bottle of glitter and that will that glitter will last you forever now I'm using my Duf Nuvo deluxe adhesive glue my favorite glue to attach everything to the card itself because I'm getting older and my hands are getting a little arthritic I really like using the Nuvo deluxe adhesive glue because a bottle is effortless to squeeze. Okay, so I'm just putting it back where I think I want it. And then I'll be using the Nuvo uh, wet glue to add it all together or put it on the card. I'm tucking the um, mouse blowing the da dandelion and the dandelion flowers and leaves and one of the weed behind the grass instead of on top of it because I wanted it to look like um, it's not floating on the ground. And again, I'm just attaching everything where I want it to be. At first I thought maybe it was just too many things on the card, but I wanted to add, they were so cute. I wanted to add as many things as I could. So what do you think? Do you think it's too much? I should have stopped. <laughs> I appreciate your comments. I'm using my Sakura Jelly Roll 10, and that's how I'm erasing my mistake. I'm just coloring in white where I colored outside the line. And now I'm adding little white dots to their pink cheeks. When I put the grass down, it was slightly um, not white enough, so I'm just cleaning it up. But it's still about little sliver short of three and a half but it's three and a half by eight and a quarter. Now I'm cutting the card base and I'll have it listed below. I'm scoring it at three and three quarters. And this, the base is 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And I'll be using my glue again to attach it. But first I'm going to stamp my in the front. And because I'm using the stamp set that came in the in one set they're easy to line up in the wave so that it's perfectly aligned i'm using my misty as a weight i'm scoring it again and because i had a couple images left over i'm putting it in the inside and i'll also be adding a couple lines of sentiments and again because they came from one set. That's what I love about Lan Fan. It makes it so easy to line up the sentiments. And I use my Distress Oxide to stamp it out. And this is my finished card. This is a far away shot. It's a close up shot. And I hope you enjoyed it. I really like how it turned out. I'll be sending it out to one of my friends who is far away. And I hope you all are staying safe and please take care of yourself. Again, thank you for joining me. Please, if you would like to subscribe, click on my face, and here's a couple more videos that you might like. Again, welcome to my new subscribers, and thank you for joining me.